The following video has been rated PG-13 for, eh, it's pretty good, if you're 13. It's boring! Well, it's been a little while, but if you didn't forget, let's go inside and do just a little exploring. I know it's been a little while, but I figured maybe we'd come out today, you know, while things are a little brainy and ugly, and get back on the ball here at the Osceola County Fair. Oh yeah, we've been here before. Don't get cute and try to figure out what numbers those were. There's no money in there for you. Here in Kissimmee, it's bull country. And to start things off, we're going to feed some animals. And there are quite a few animals in here to feed, including some more interesting ones. Now watch as this giraffe eats this parrot. Important safety tip. Thank you, Egon. Oh, thank you, sir. Wow. Hello, sir. Wow. That is my new favorite. And what is your name? The rule seems to be no food, no care. Oh, uh, you're like a, a, a deer goat llama thing. Huh? Looks like the boy's about to feed his first giraffe. Or throw the carrot on the ground in total terror. So we've we've got one zebra over here leading the other zebra around. Well, I guess it's a donkey leading a zebra. Well, I guess we figured out why that was happening. Oh, it's Sally the camel. What expressive eyes you have, Sally. Yeah, that line never works in the humans either. It's been raining for about two days, so the parakeet adventure looks just a little mm, awful at the moment. No offense to the parakeets. Probably an adventure I wouldn't take, even if it weren't three inches underwater. Look at those guys. It's not the best looking day, but the nice thing is it's kind of keeping everybody out of here. We almost have the county fair to ourselves. While we're dealing with the sprinkles again. Good grief. People who actually have focus and attention span. How meta can you get? Good grief, that's a whole lot of flora. Yes, 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 yes. Please tell me you get the reference. Droid fixers. She's a T-Rex. She's very friendly. She likes to have her picture taken. Oh, it's a young T-Rex then, huh? She's five years old. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't she a sweetheart? This is a yearly staple of the Osceola County Fair. It's Cracker Bellies, home of things like Gator and uh, Grouper and Bourbon Chicken. It's all delicious, but I got my heart set on something else today. I'm not sure I've ever seen a beach cruiser as a prize. Little Richards. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna see Little Richard today. That is most certainly not the Little Richard that I had in mind. All right, for my fellow parents, uh, at, at what age do you start having a heart attack when your little kids start writing things like this? This would be the parents uh, losing their flipping minds over this whole thing right now. What'd you think? Would you do it again? Hey, look, it's Beto. Now we're doing both kids. Yeah, not happy right now, not happy. Deep fried bug. 
bubblegum? 40 years in the life and I'm only now just living. I absolutely love the fact that in this day and age, these people are still experiencing the rides of my youth while blasting, blinded by the light. I'm 40, and that was an old experience when I was their age. Warning, you are now entering the clown insulting area. Is that where I go to insult a clown? Big guy, like your hat, is that what you do? The smallest woman. I, I happen to know I've actually met the world's smallest woman. That's not her. What do you think? Is Disney aware? Nothing says rock star quite like a picture of a woman that has quite obviously never held a guitar before. Man, I hope these two don't win a fish. I wonder if Disney knows about this. This is probably my favorite trailer art ever. I wonder if Disney knows about this. That parrot is deceased! Coming around, we have the highlight of the entire affair for me. Something that you've seen a couple times in Splorn. I give you the beautiful Jimmy Bears. First time at the fair. Yeah. Deshaun from Negro Orlando. Right You're here. subscribed, of course, and if you haven't, then you should, you should be now. You absolutely should. Sean is going to go with me to pick up a bad decision in the form of delicious donut goodness. What is this place? This is Epic Food Fight. Epic Food Fight? This is the greatest uh, trailer ever. Is it? You see, even Sean has been drawn in by the Food Fight trailer. Look, this is what they do. They put cartoons on the outside of the trailer to get me to come over there. You know, it's like every other food truck. It worked though, right? It did work. Donut of donuts. It's, uh, I'm embarrassed right now, but it's not gonna stop me. As good as Four Rivers. Complimenting my bad decision with the donut, Jimmy Bear's cold pork sandwich. Oscar Mayer! All right, gotta get my hillbilly on now. Now the pigs the faster they Let's go. get low You know class. what? We better practice that one time. Perfect. You guys keep that up and these pigs are going to fly. At the sound of the bugle, they will be off. And the crowd goes lethargic. Apparently my son just won something off of this. Awesome, Ian. Where are you from? This is like his third pig race where he's won something in the last two years. I have no idea what's going on, but he seems happy, so there you go. The USA Swine Speedsters. Yep, he definitely won something. You want to know what he won? He won a free giant donut. different from the first set of pigs you saw race. They are still a domesticated pig, but they are a completely... That's an excited kid for pig racing. Oh, wait, no, now they've all stopped. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Somehow my daughter just won the second pig race, so figure that out. So, so now we have two giant donuts. While my daughter's picking up her price, I figured I'd stop by the pig store. Before I buy anything else here, I should just see if my kids are going to keep winning it all for me. That's two of your kids that won something from pig racing. If anything, they're going to become successful horse betters and then uh, well, they're Scotch Irish. So, uh, pig racing completed. We've come into the fowl barn where my children will be rewarded with free donuts. I'm assuming. 
This chicken is brought to you by Fleischmann Concession Steak Tips. What the? 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 Got some hatchlings going here. This one's a little new. Over here's the very popular turkey petting booth. Can I pet the turkey? This young man right here is the uh, blue ribbon holder for turkey petting. This young lady has has laid an egg, which I don't know if that's cool, cute, or tragic. Leaning towards tragic. Moving into the show ring, looks like they're going to show off some heifers. Excitement abounds, and the crowd goes absent. Still looking for the horse and the cows and the... Well, there's a horse. That's the smallest horse. Smallest horse alive, at least. I wonder if Legoland knows about that. So the Oddities Museum, almost, almost makes you want to go in there, but I'm a little concerned about Three-Eyed Bill. Now, a minute ago, what, what we didn't show you is uh, the, the world's smallest woman. I gave, I gave Sean a buck to go in there. Yeah. And we were we were both we were both somewhat horrified to find out there there really is a woman. There, in there. is a woman in there. I feel really bad now. I I, I don't know what I expected, but other than that, I, I almost was like, this is like the world's tiniest horse. Now I gotta want to see the world's tiniest horse. Just to be like, wow, you got a really tiny horse in there. It's, I was, it's the same woman, but in a horse costume. Um, yeah, she has like a little like horse head, and like my horse head. Do I have the world's smallest horse? Having having seen the real uh, Guinness World Record holder for the world's smallest woman at uh, Dragon Con last year, this was this was not the world's smallest woman, but this was a small woman. And and from what we can tell, um, she's well taken care of. She was doing an amazing job at making excellent money for people exploiting little people in uh, Osceola. I don't know, did we help the situation or did we just hurt things? I know, Squirt. How you doing? Alright, Sean's gonna, Sean's gonna knock the clown into the water here. Have a good day. We're trying to funnel cake at a spider plant. You water it every now and then? I mean, you look like you might need to be watered twice a week to be on the safe side. <laughs> Water. Hey, ball bear. Hey, he's the red. You can do it. No. Sure, he's going to be hard. You look like you're pregnant. <laughs> Water. Come on, ugly. You can do it. Or not. Here. That guy just called me the guy from Kings of Queens. I don't watch that show. He's handsome, right? I do believe that's about going to do it for us tonight. I'm going to get out of here. The family's going to get out of here. I think Sean's going to stick around, so make sure yeah, make sure you jump onto uh, Negro Orlando and catch the rest of the video. And uh, join us next time as we do just a little floor. Yes, son of a bitch.